Ayrton Senna's defensive driving skills were second to none, and he demonstrated his incredible technique at the 1993 British Grand Prix. A great start saw him leap into second place at Turn 1, just ahead of his great rival Alain Prost in the Williams. But even with the professor in his slipstream, Senna displayed his mastery of both the Silverstone circuit and the art of driving to hold him off for a full six laps in his slower McLaren. During qualifying for the 1990 Spanish Grand Prix, a blistering lap at the Jerez circuit saw Senna put in a time of 1 minute 18.387 seconds. That flying lap, a track record, earned Senna his 50th career pole position, with the Brazilian going a full 1.2 seconds faster than his McLaren teammate Gerhard Berger. Four years earlier, the first Grand Prix to be held at Jerez saw one of the closest finishes in F1 history. Senna led in his Lotus, but on the final lap, his now very worn tyres were failing and a freshly shod Nigel Mansell was bearing down on him. Senna defended superbly, but as they hit the final straight, the Briton darted alongside and the two future champions sped for the line. Senna held on and took the flag first by just 14 thousandths of a second. During practice at the 1992 Belgian Grand Prix, Eric Comas crashed his Ligier at the high-speed Blanchiment corner at 180 miles an hour. The Frenchman was unconscious with his engine still running and his foot pressing on the accelerator, pumping fuel into the system. Senna stopped his McLaren and dashed over to his stricken colleague and spotting the danger of an imminent explosion, switched the engine off. Comas would later state that Senna had undoubtedly saved his life. A disastrous start at the 1988 Japanese Grand Prix saw pole sitter Senna left stationary on the grid as the lights went out, dropping him all the way to 16th place. With his chances of winning a maiden world championship dwindling, he went on one of the greatest charges in F1 history. Within 20 laps, he was in second place, chasing down championship rival and teammate Alain Prost, and shortly after caught and passed him for the lead before going on to take the win and secure the 1988 Drivers' Championship. It was a truly remarkable performance. It feels great, of course. I feel very happy and lighter. And uh, it's a great feeling. A wet Donington bore witness to one of Senna's greatest ever single laps. Fourth on the grid for the 1993 European Grand Prix, a difficult start saw him drop a place to a young Michael Schumacher. But the Brazilian maestro then displayed all of his wet weather mastery, passing Schumacher and Karl Wendlinger through the Craner curves. And by turn seven, he'd overtaken Damon Hill. Then with two corners to go, he slithered inside Prost and muscled his way through into a lead he would not relinquish. Senna's reputation as a wet-weather genius was established in his rookie season at the 1984 Monaco Grand Prix. Starting in 13th, and in near torrential rain, Senna masterfully manoeuvred his Tolman up to second place, passing legends such as Nicky Lauda along the way. He chased down and passed race leader Alain Prost on lap 32, but Prost complained that the conditions were too dangerous, and clerk of the course Jackie Ix agreed, red flagging and stopping the race. As the results were then counted from the last completed lap, Prost was awarded victory, cruelly denying both Senna and Tolman an historic maiden win. Senna's win would come though, and it was again the weather that allowed him to prove his authority. At a rain-soaked Estoril in 1985, having secured his maiden pole position, he pushed his Lotus to the limit. As drivers behind him aquaplaned and spun off in droves, Senna sailed around the sodden circuit, leading from start to finish, and beating second-placed Michele Alboreto by over a minute to secure the first of what would become 41 career victories. In his eighth season as a Formula One driver, the now 31-year-old Senna finally won his home race in front of his adoring fans in Sao Paulo. 
Qualifying on pole, a superb start saw Senna lead for some 65 laps of the Interlagos circuit. But then, with the duck about to be broken, his McLaren's gearbox began to fail, losing a succession of gears until only sixth was available. As Williams, Ricardo, Patrese and the rain clouds closed in, Senna managed to steer his stricken car home for the win using only one gear. As the Samba celebrations began, the victor, physically and emotionally exhausted after his gruelling efforts, was barely able to lift the trophy. Perhaps Senna's single greatest moment was this qualifying lap from 1988. Senna himself remarked that his performance that day transcended his sense of reality, saying he was driving the car by a kind of instinct, only in a different dimension, well beyond his conscious understanding. No onboard footage of the lap exists, but his time of 1 minute 23.998 was almost a second and a half quicker than teammate Prost. Truly, a legend at work. <laughs>